Hey yo, you already know the vibes, man. It's AOK. -okay. We back with another one, and today uh, we have here is another video of my just honest thoughts about uh, where Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is heading. Even though the game has yet to launch, just you know from what I've seen uh, from content creators such as Alex Vi uh, or Alex Seven rather. Um, you know, the, he's like the main, he's the main guy when it comes to uh, releasing um, Test Drive Unlimited content. There's other, there's other guys, of course, but um, this is definitely the main person that I refer to. And he just dropped a, a major video. Also, congratulations on his 1,000th video. Uh, I believe this is his 1,000th video. Uh, definitely like and subscribe to bro. You know, he puts out great content. Um, but yeah, he just released his video just showing some gameplay uh up updates that they made to the game and definitely a lot of interesting things that i've seen and i just wanted to go through a little bit i, I already watched the video all the way through out of respect for bro but um this this video i won't make it i won't drag it out too long so i'll kind of just cut to the parts where they have things i want to talk about and again in this video i'll leave a link to his original video so you can watch the full thing there without me talking over it or me talking in the background if you want to just watch it and hear from him but again, on this channel, it's just going to be my honest opinions and reactions about some of the gameplay um, updates that he's shown, mainly the physics, because um, he has a lot of other things that he wanted to talk about. But um, definitely what I wanted to just make my own reaction to was just uh, the physics gameplay that he had posted. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. Which is pretty large. We've got things as large as steering animation, more traffic variety. Now, the things in red, by the way, I just kind of want to make it so that it's highlighted, see, per se. The small see. things, such as binding, is there. Physics improvements, let's do it. A recording of me on wheel. I'm on the Logitech G Pro, and I was able to run 900 degrees. Unlike the demo, however, I didn't have to force the 900 degrees. And I'll explain that pretty well. In All right, so they updated the steering. The demo, as well as how the game feels now. In the, so, in the, uh, the demo... Track. The demo, the, the steering wheel only turned like talk to you guys about how I feel. 60, okay, so 70 degrees, this, but apparently they updated that. Looks like here we got a 918 Spider. So let's see what Luckily, this is about. I am in France, and now I can show you guys how it works. So here we have the 918 Spider, which, as you all know, is a hybrid system. So you can see there. Now I'm just gonna pause it real quick. So again, I already watched the video, but I'm kind of just, um. So I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like oh I haven't seen this before, but um, again I just wanted to go through it and just kind of give some honest reactions. So for this part, he's talking about the 918 Spider, and first thing I noticed that they paid a lot more attention to what goes on in the dash, and the dash is a lot more interactive. Like the dash is a lot more immersive. You know, in the last test drive video I made, I was like I was going on about how the dashes need to be more immersive. They need to like if you have gauges and certain um level indicators on the dash they should work and here you can see they made large improvements there in the bottom right corner there's a little battery icon that shows up at the moment and i'm gonna show you guys how detailed the dashboard is so let's start this off you can see the little white bar that depends on my actual input of the pedal so yeah, that's, that's for the e boost right forward. there. On and then, by the way, this applies to all. And then the battery, levels. the battery is how much e boost you have because 918s have this. They had this in Drive Club. Uh, if you guys remember the 2014 now, can, PlayStation game, they had this in Drive Club. And it actually regains while you're coasting as well. So let's see if we can just uh, find my straight here. So. You see right. the battery is depleting on the actual dashboard. You're running out of e you're running out of and e what's going to happen now? From the uh, hybrid if assist. I coast, it will recharge. If I break, it will recharge. And it faster. recharges. Just like that. Now the main thing I want to know is because the real 918, it has an E pass or an E boost button where you press it and it kind of just drains the entire battery. It's it's usually safe for like say if you're doing like hard tracking and you get to the back straight, you press this button that's on a little um, dial or rotary selector, you press the red button that's in the middle and it kind of just dumps all the energy into the powertrain so that you could just pretty much slingshot the car in a straight line. It's almost like nitrous or like or pretty much e-boost for the car. 
you know, I kind of wanted to see if they're going to implement that in any type of way, which is kind of hard to do. And I'm not going to say it's unfair, but it will definitely be a little overpowered if you had some cards that had like e-boost, like their, their real counterparts. But then if they use it in the game versus cards that can't use that, you know, is it unfair? But is it the other person's fault for bringing a knife to a gunfight? Who knows? But um, I definitely do want to see if they implement that into the game. Because they have every other part of it where it's like you get a little extra boost. I don't know if they actually show the extra boost versus like if you were to drive the car with no battery charge versus driving it with battery charge. Will they actually show that the car is quicker? We don't know that yet. But right now, when it just comes to immersion, I think they're doing a great job and they definitely made a lot of improvements. So kudos to the team at um, Nakon. You can see the charge icon and the zero mission there as well. So there it is, showcasing it. So it's pretty cool to have that. And again, this works for all hybrid vehicles that are in the game. So no matter what hybrid vehicle you see, whether it's the, the 918 Spider or of course LaFerrari Aperta, which is one of the vehicles I confirmed in a developer interview last year a lot of things you could do and wow so the next thing i want to cut through is the uh, the drifting and we'll throw it again so the drifting looks way better way better drifting it looks a lot more smooth and fluid like a lot more fluid than um how it was in the demo the demo he was fighting the steering a lot so alex here he's doing a good job he's doing a good job here and being very accurate, you know, Mustang's got to crash out, so he's definitely accurate. Up to the demo, it was a little harder to keep an angle. See exactly what exactly what I just said. Angles where you thought the vehicle shouldn't have spun out, it's now actually possible to hold those angles. Exactly. Which is exactly what a lot of the improvements that a lot of people that tried to drift in the demo really wanted, and this goes for both wheel and the controller, as you can see. Yeah, the drifting got way better. He's on a wheel there. I think he switches to a controller. Just to um I think this is new as well. I don't think we've ever saw rain like this in a demo. Just to show you guys the difference. We go back up the hill. Like so. There's the weight transfer. And I think there's one point where he switches to the controller. And just It's in here somewhere. But again, if you want to see the full video, I'm going to leave a link to his video in the comments so that you can watch his full video. This is not my video. I'm not taking any credit for this gameplay. To cross my arms over any more than that to do the same turn compared to the demo. And that makes playing on 900 degrees beautiful. Yeah, turning got way better. Turning got way better. But no. It took that a little while, but it's okay. Again, the slip curb transition. A lot more smooth compared to the other racers. So we are in the Lamborghini Huracan. I'm going to show you guys some improvements per se. As I told you, no longer need to cross your arms over to do the tight turns. The cars do look like they still also, understeer a little bit, but either way, they look like major improvements. I like that backfire. That was good. Um, Look at this. Major improvement. Exactly. Right right into the apex. That's again, that's beautiful. This, on this game this game is looking How way is sharper than it did in the demo. It's looking way better. I love what I'm seeing right now. I think they're doing a great job. There we go. Other turn. Beautiful. So grip has improved as well. And Hold because this is my second attempt at trying to do this. And now we got so the uh, ZR1 here. here. Not the easiest car. Still, it's behind the car, so I'll kind of give them credit. You, just, you still don't really hear any supercharger sound, and and I, I do want to go back to that real quick. You don't really hear much supercharger whine, and. If, you ha if you've ever been near a supercharged car in real life, especially when they're loud, if you're behind the car, you never really hear the supercharger because one, the supercharger is actually on the engine and the engine is in the front of the car. Especially if we're talking about a front a front engine, front mid-engine car, the supercharger, you're not going to hear it from the back. But um, in the case of the uh, ZR1, when you're in an enclosed space like this, 
it would make more sense that you still hear the forced induction being that the whole space is enclosed. So even though we're behind the car, we should still be able to hear the supercharger a little bit, you know, especially being this is the uh, the LT5. So it's it's not like the little baby supercharger on the LT4s. Like this is an LT5, so that's a massive like 2.65, like, some ridiculous size um uh, supercharger. So, um, again, handling wise, though, handling and physics, beautiful. Like, this doesn't even look like the same game as the demo. This is crazy. One thing I do want to see if, like, the same way they had that immersion on the 918, if they improve the, uh, I want to see if they improve the, uh, the same immersion on this car, like making the, the boost gauge for the supercharger work. So, we'll see. But, um, right now, I, I love what I'm seeing. Luckily, Great job. Because it is easier. So Jets, let's get back to the whole developer chat and developer interview thing. Let's take a look at what I can show Yeah, this, this I still don't understand. They got a rear wheel drive R8, but it's like, why didn't I get the facelift? So that right like, there is the that I never understood. I never understood that. Uh, then he's talking more about the game. If you want to see all of that, you can watch Alex's video. Again, I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch this full video. This is just a more so a reaction. So some of the major things that I wanted to talk about within his video. Um, and then they're talking about how they do the sounds. Not really going to get too much into that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. Just uh, physics and kind of everything that I've noticed so far with the improved, uh, improvements that they made to this, um, to the game. And again, like, what I wanted to talk about just happens to be towards the beginning. Again, if you want to hear everything else about the game, like, um, there's one more part, actually. Hold on. It's actually pretty big. Hmm. Let me see if it's in here. It should be in here. All right, yeah, this is the last thing I want to talk about. The improving the, the vehicles over going over bumps and curves. That's a small thing, but it's a very important thing that needs to happen. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better. That going over bumps made your car kind of bounce up. I couldn't have said any better. That, that makes this so much more fun. In Again, general. this looks like a base model Mustang with and a 5.0. So that. I don't know if it has Magnarod suspension, one. but. As you can see here again, we can assume in the demo it didn't have Magnarod, now it does. <laughs> more, uh, nonsense. So yeah, that looks way better. I think a lot of us are going to be very happy about seeing that kill ton of fixed it. But again, I'm going to leave the reaction, uh, just, I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, this is not going to be a, a full synopsis of Bro's entire video. If you want to watch his entire video straight through without me talking, again, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You guys can see it there. Other than that, um, I'm going to leave it right here again. I'm just going to say it again. I love what the team is doing at, um, KT Nikon, all of them. Like, I think they're doing great. And, uh, I really just, I, I, I love what I was seeing. I, I loved it. Like the other things that I may have had gripes about, like car list, certain car, like selections, like reasoning behind that, that I'm still going to keep reserved for later. And, you know, once we get closer to a release date uh, and really see what's going to be in the game, that's different. Um, um, yeah, that'll be something else. Let you guys get a little SL65 gameplay. You know, a little Black Series gameplay. But, um, yes, like, once I, um, reduce the once I, um, uh, get closer to the uh, game release date. Like once we get closer to the game release date, I'm definitely just gonna check that out and really see what the car list looks like then. Cause that was one of my biggest things. It's like I love to grind and have to like earn things in the game. You really have to work for things and like get them to get them at like a high level. But um, I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to do that for cars where it doesn't make sense. Like this car, for example, the SL65, the SL65 Black Series is a 2009 car. There is no 2020 version of this car. That's a Black Series, right? You have a brand new SL, but yeah, that that's not this, you know? So 
this car is like if you put in a 2009 SS65, like all right, that's that's great. But you know, like my my issue with the car list more so was that they were doing things like like. They're taking cars that still get made, like taking a car like, example, the the Huracan. You took the Performance, but it's like you know you had a lot of things to choose from. You could just take you could have taken the Evo, the STO. Uh, apparently, there's the STJ. Um, just a lot of different things. The Performance is still like one of the best Huracans you can get, so I'm not mad at that. Um, the A12. Why not get the A12 GTS? You never know. That might be near. The Aston Martin, I'm still not getting over that. Like, they just released a new DBS 770, like, last year. They released the um the new Vantage this year. Um, All the other new Aston Martins that came out is, like, and then instead you make the cover car 2014 DB11. I won't understand. I'll never understand that. The Camaro, they don't have, like, the fate or the, they don't have the BBL Camaro with the butt lift. They got the original Camaro ZL1. No biggie, but it's like I would prefer if the uh, the BBL one was in there, you know, just to have the latest and greatest. But um, just small things like that. But that again, this video was just about updates to the physics and the handling and gameplay. And I love what I saw. It looks amazing, and it just looks night and day better than what was in the demo. And I really, I'm, I'm excited. The game devs are really putting in a lot of work, and I, I just, I can't wait to play the finished product. Or the the product that um launch. And also, you also have post launch. Like when it comes to the car list thing, there's also post launch. So I don't really have to worry about like, oh, what cars are in the game when it drops, you know, because you got post launch and they can always just add cars. So of course I'd I'd prefer you get it right the first time so we don't have to get DLC of you, you know, using up a spot that could have been for something else just so you can have an updated version of a car you already have. But again, I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, again, love the video. Great job, Alex, on this video and getting this content to us. Again, congratulations on your thousand video. Congratulations to uh, to the team for just making all these improvements to the gameplay and handling. This looks leagues better than what was in the demo. So again, congrats to them. Positivity all around. Great job, everyone. Y'all safe up, stay sturdy, and I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get back to y'all with some more um, content in the next coming days. Uh, thank you for if you stuck around this long, and I hope everybody just has a uh, great day, man. Thank you.